I'd like to uh, see some of my family that I haven't seen in a while. Um, when I was younger, I go to uh, my grandparents' house for Christmas, so I'd like to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but that's just one one thing. So, um, I I kind of want to get Call of Duty Black Ops really bad. <laughs> Everyone keeps talking about it. And for Christmas, um, I want a, a monitor, a flat screen monitor to hook up to my computer, so I have a bigger screen, so I can watch huge movies. Yeah. yeah. Um. And my, my my want is is a little more geekier. It's it's like way more geek. It's Call of Duty Black Ops. You don't have that already? No, we don't. For Christmas, I want a Just MacBook kidding, Air. Just kidding. It's not what you're not getting a MacBook Air. But I want one. <laughs> one snow Christmas just isn't Christmas without snow. Two, I want to be home with my family. Christmas isn't Christmas without family. And three, I want you to have a Merry Christmas. To release the record, <laughs> to release the single, and to get on a tour that will last us in the rest of our lives. Um, I would really like a trailer because uh, we don't have one currently, and we have to keep writing them every time that we do out-of-state shows, so a trailer would be really good. Pretty Girl? I don't know. I bought a... Uh beach cruiser for my girlfriend. I thought that was cool. That was a couple years ago. Um, I'm not I'm not very good at, at like buying gifts for people. I, I have like the hardest time like thinking because I always just want to buy what yeah. I want. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to like put myself in their shoes but uh, I don't know. I haven't even thought about that yet. I have to get on that. The best gift I've ever given someone must be to my mom. Um, the thing is my parents live in Europe in the south of Spain so last Christmas she didn't know that I was coming to visit and yeah, I just surprised her and it was the best gift ever. He was under the tree, the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> He's walked out of it. Uh, for Christmas, our little sister Molly, we gave her a red Stratocaster guitar. And she, uh, it's just really awesome to see her playing it. She's rocking out, playing yeah. songs on her cool guitar. That was cool. And was also, cool. we gave our sister an iPod Touch. An iPod Touch. Yes, she loved that. She she uh, wouldn't let go of it for a while. She's had it taken away from her for, for a few times because she does it while she's doing school. So Everybody gets grounded, though. So. Everybody, well, it's not really grounded. Like some, Sometimes my mom takes my computer away. <laughs> but moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving <I> on. <laughs> I have a relative that um, uh, wanted to send a Christmas ornament to our house uh, through the mail. And... Uh, <laughs> Basically, they didn't pad it, and they didn't really like package it right. So what ended up happening was uh, we got this envelope from I think it was my aunt, and uh, we opened it up, and there were just glass shards in the bottom of it. And like we, all, our whole family thought it was like a threat, and I've got it. I've got it. yeah, it's just you got to make sure you uh, protect your packaging when you send ornaments. So um, my late grandmother, she had this idea when I was younger that I was um, an eight-year-old girl and she purchased um, the entire collection of Shirley Temple movies on VHS I got them in a box set <laughs> and and I didn't know what to do because I, I didn't know whether to like send a card to be like thank you grandma or be like uh, if I just ignore this will she <laughs> will she think I'm I, I don't know I I didn't know what she was thinking. <laughs> the worst gift I've received for Christmas was to be a big pair of pajamas. I mean, who gets pajamas for Christmas? Oh, no, I'll, I'll I, tell you. But my best gift I've, I've had was uh, when Jasmine gave us those. Uh, those those, those, those pajamas, pajamas, those pajamas were awesome. Were cool. Now I think pajamas are. Yeah, totally Jasmine awesome. V gave them some of these footy penguin pajamas. Penguin pajamas. And it and changed my, my my whole new look on getting. You think I'm geeky? They wear those everywhere. So they're awesome. Period. End of story. A package of plastic mustaches. Uh, they haven't really come in handy ever since. So, whenever, whenever you get like clothing from like like a distant aunt or something like that, and you just kind of open it, you're like, ah, not even close. <laughs> so I'd say like probably like the, one of those sweaters that had like the glittery reindeers with their like noses lit up. <laughs> uh, a Christmas story. The one. Uh... Little uh, Red Rider BB gun. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I think my favorite one is uh, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That one's fun. Really? Yeah. All right. I think my favorite Christmas movie is The Polar Express by far. 
I just love like the hot chocolate scene with like hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh my hot, god, hot, he's hot, gonna hot. do it! No, no, yeah, I'm serious. That's my okay. favorite Christmas movie. So awesome. you want hot Fox chocolate? Best rocks. My favorite Christmas movie, Elf. Uh, I'm gonna say a Charlie Brown Christmas is classic. Christmas Carol. Oh, Christmas Carol. Carol. With the Scrooge. I just remember the ghost of Christmas. I'm gonna go with How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but the newer one, the Jim Carrey remake. Great movie. Um. Christmas Vacation, definitely. Good I like Christmas taste. Vacation, but I like to go with Home Alone too. That one's a good one oh, as well. Yeah. I wonder if, does Carol of the Bells count? I like the version that the Trans-Siberian Orchestra does. It's like real like, remember they had the Budweiser commercial and like the Christmas lights were like going crazy? Yeah. That one's okay. awesome. And they like shred. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I was, I was trying to think, I was trying to think of a, a better one, uh, and not be so cliche. cliche but Jingle Bells. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. My favorite song would have my favorite Christmas holiday song would have to be um, Holiday oh. by Green Day. That's a good one. Is that a good holiday one. song? No, well, no. sort of, but, <laughs> but it's awesome. But my favorite Christmas holiday song, the classic one, is uh, Hark and Herald. Hark. Hark. Hark, Hark the Herald. Hark the Herald. Is that even what it's called? Hark the, I mean, I don't know what it's called, I just know it's an awesome song. My favorite Christmas song? Huh. Well... Say the Jingle Bell Rock, but I also like a lot of like punk rock remakes of Christmas songs. I like all the traditional stuff, like Jingle Bells and all that good stuff. But uh, I think my favorite is going to be uh, the Where Are You Christmas from the uh, How's It Going to Slow Christmas. Yeah, baby. Can I name all the Santa's reindeer? Uh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer. Comet, Cupid, Vixen, Rudolph. I have no idea. Can I, I cannot name all of Santa's reindeer. What? Doxon, Dixon, Nixon, and Vixen. All right, can you? <laughs> Blitzen, Blitzen, Gritzker, and... I don't even want to challenge. <laughs> I, Rudolph. Dasher. Rudolph, Dasher, Donner, Donner Blitzen. And... Comet, Cupid. Comet, Cupid. Sleepy, Dopey. <laughs> Grumpy. Grumpy. How many are there? Sleazy. Oh, wait, no. There's like a hundred of them, right? <laughs> I can name all of Santa's reindeer Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen! All at the same time. One, two, three, four. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen! I think the best stocking stuffers are iPod, iPods. iPods. Those are the most expensive. Those stockings. are the ex most expensive stocking stuffers. But if I ever opened my stocking and found one of those, I would be very happy. But also, just fill it full of candy, and I'm happy anyway. So that's good. Just candy. Just yeah, candy. candy's good. Give me candy. Yeah. The best stocking stuffers. Definitely romance on a rocket ship T-shirts for sure. Um. Well, candy obviously because everybody has sweet tooth. Um, but probably one of the coolest ones I got was my grandpa gave me a deck of cards, and yeah. Just... And he's been stealing everybody's money ever since. <laughs> <laughs> so we usually leave Santa Claus cookies and milk, you know, cold milk, but we yeah. come to find that he uh, likes peanut butter and fluff sandwiches better. Fluff yeah, and, 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 and instead of just normal milk, he, he likes um, chocolate, chocolate milk. milk, which comes from brown cows. What would you guys leave for Santa? Cookies and we love carrots for the reindeer. Yeah. Carrots for the reindeer. Ooh, That's very I wonder who uh, ate those carrots. <laughs> Where did their wife ate the cookies? <laughs> I don't know. Some maybe steak or something. I don't know. I'm bad at this. Favorite Christmas food is uh, candy canes. I was just about to say that. You know those big Billy Club sized candy canes? The ones like, like you could knock like, somebody no, out with. Sh 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 no. Let's not talk about violence on this. Okay. Um, they're like candy walking sticks. They're candy like walking sticks. They're huge. And you can just munch on them for the rest of eternity. You know, actually, this time of year when Starbucks does the red cups, that's nice. And it doesn't matter what you get in it. I mean, it could be like a peppermint hot chocolate. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. 
Uh, Spanish casserole is my favorite for Christmas. It's great. I was uh, always like the uh, holiday Chex Mix. That's always homemade. Always homemade too is awesome. I lived in Wisconsin for a little bit too, so I got to experience the exact opposite of Arizona. Um, that was probably the first time I saw snow. But my my parents um, actually, when I was a little kid, bought some land up in northern Arizona. So we'd go up there and uh, like camp out and and actually see the snow. So I I think I was like maybe five or six the first time I saw snow. But yeah, it never happens in the valley, so you have to go up into the mountains for the, it. Uh, the hailstorms that we get, we've gotten a few uh, around in the valley before, and then that that's all all I've seen. There's never been real snow, I don't think. Thank you to anyone who pays attention to our band at all. Uh, we hope that you have an amazing holiday season this year, and uh, hopefully we'll be in your town soon because we're going to tour until we're dead. So, See you soon. Happy holidays. Uh, I hope you all have a really jolly Christmas and you get everything that you wanted from Santa, and uh, hopefully we see you next year. Hey guys, thanks for watching and listening to all of our crazy answers for Shorelines and make sure you come and check us out this uh, December on the Christmas pageant tour with Second Hand Serenade, Family Force 5, and Private Sickest Kids. Happy holidays to you and your family from Romance on a Rocket Ship.